You already know what time it is. August 10th, 2023. What's in the shop today? Fortnite. I'm so glad I did the intro when there was something new. There's been a couple days when there was nothing new. So this is great. Okay. The hazy dream beats bundle. Selectable styles. Okay. What do those look like? We have a couple here. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, feel, I'll just, I'll, I like it galaxy. And depending on aiming down sights, I think it like it without the mask on and or the helmet. Anyways, the back bling is cross phase equalizer. You would think reactive to volume, but it doesn't say it's reactive at all to like emotes or anything. That's a weird back bling. I don't know about that Fortnite. The spin back slicer. Looks like a nice impact animation. Sound, not sure yet. Emote, the BPM breakdown. Beats per minute for any of you that don't know. I don't know, Terminator. <laughs> Feeling a little different about the Terminator right now. But then a weapon wrap that is animated and reactive. View details here. Let's trigger the weapon. I guess. Supporter creator. PIZ zero, he's a with the zero. If you don't buy this in the bundle, you're gonna spend 1300 V bucks more. If you buy it separate, keep that in mind. You know, we're getting it. Yes. As it stands right now, I think I'm most interested in the harvesting tool. We have the discovery glider for the gameplay here. I just thought it would be fun. A little bit of a throwback here to the original galaxy stuff that we have in the game. Um, ADS should be fine here. Again, I don't really care for the back bling, but I mean, the galaxy animation always looks really good on anything galaxy related. So I do like that. Equip, unequip here. Okay. Nighttime as well. Yeah, it's okay. Impact. Impact is amazing. Really enjoy that. And like I said, um, Epic Games has been really weird about items that you would think are reactive not being reactive. The back bling here included could have been something where it goes to like the sound of the music here. We're going to do the emote as well. And you know what? It looks like it actually does. It's definitely going with the bass. It's staying around that that peak there near the yellow close to the red so that's really interesting because if i stop doing an emote here it just kind of goes from the bottom to the top in a pulse we do a different emote here hopefully one that's not super copyright or anything so it's not claiming to be reactive i would say definitely reactive back blink um so that is interesting to me to say the least I didn't notice the sleeve and or sock on her left arm. <laughs> Not a fan of that, but hitting opponents, I always have to move off the spawn pad here. Yeah, I have no problems with the harvesting tool. It is a different look here. It is something different that we're not used to seeing. And you know what? Since I never know how to change back to the time of day, I want to actually look at the hair physics here and then take off the back bling and see what we have. Hair physics? Not really. Okay, so um, her luscious locks here seem to be stuck to the, her upper back. I mean, I guess that's fine, but usually nine times out of 10, you have more hair physics here without a back bling on. Weird. So because of the hair physics being literally stiff and not having physics at all, really, I'm going to say the helmet on here is actually pretty damn cool. I think I prefer this over no helmet on actually. And I think it's gonna like really good on the other styles as well. At night, looks really cool. I love that. Okay, so combos with the back bling, super simple. Again, it is reactive. It doesn't state that it is, but you can tell that the little uh, volume meter, if you will, reacts to like the base and like the rhythm of the, the emote that you're actually using. So it is cool. 
in that aspect i just think it still looks pretty cheap for a back bling in 2023 but it was very easy for combos now combos on her i'm going with out of space stuff like that fractured world is great hands of the galaxy is really fun um nucleus is perfect but it's very expected this is a fun one space helmet can't go wrong i believe it's reactive to emotes as well and then lastly galactic disc this is the encore crossfade style honestly i actually think it looks okay in game now i just don't like the sock on her left arm i know it's not a sock i'm being dumb on purpose i'm just saying i like the tattoos as well um the tattoos are really cool i don't mind this style actually yeah i think i think i'm gonna do combos for all three i think galaxy is pretty straightforward but these might be a little more interesting with combos now with the helmet on here again this looks pretty good with this style here yeah i don't i don't mind the helmets yes it clips through my weapon a little bit here but still with no hair physics why would you not it looks so good with the helmet on here for the encore style we have high caliber but i do want to actually zoom in on the tattoos here it says star it kind of looks like i don't want to say an anime but it kind of resembles and almost reminds me of like a twitch emote no anyways um blade bag goes great with the helmet color now i will say that the pants appeared to be a lot more reflective in game they looked a little more blue than they do right now in the actual locker so i think they are going to pick up more colors around the environment with this particular edit style but combos very easy and enjoyable this is the cosmic crossfade edit style it reminds me of that battle pass skin um she kind of had like devil horns i wonder for edit styles i believe you could change the color of the skin to like a pink like this that's what this reminds me of honestly it just looks like the saturation is just bumped up like crazy I don't really care for this edit style as much as the second one and then the galaxy like you can't really miss with the galaxy edit style see with the helmet on here i don't mind the color of the skin here being this like a this looks like they bumped up the saturation in like illustrator or photoshop here but the helmet man the helmet makes this outfit literally without it it's a little eh, you know what i mean but with it on oh my gosh it's actually pretty decent i don't care much for the clothing but i think the helmet kind of saves it for me personally so it is what it is now for the cosmic crossfade combos we have this bug which is a little weird i'm not gonna lie now what's interesting about this back playing the shadow star once it's reactive it completely matches the logo on her chest i know it's like oh you don't see it at the same time but you know what's there okay the hot holster um Machi is kind of a stretch, but I think because of the purplish bluish pants she's wearing, you can kind of see the gradient change there. And then plasmatic gear goes really good with the second style and third style as well. I like it. It looks like just the star is what's reactive here. It's pretty lackluster to say the least at night as well here. Again, reactive wraps also trigger when swinging any harvesting tool as well. As you can see here, star gets brighter. But the wrap doesn't look bad in larger scale. I just think the star looks a little cheap on the larger scale. I do like the bottom galaxy part, of course. Now we have the machine learning set. Um, honestly, looks better here because the top portion doesn't look so cheap like it did on the starter style stuff. But yeah, it's just that little star there. Number one, the hair physics are terrible. Number two, the back bling is not that good design wise. Number three, harvesting tool, above average. Impact is great. Weapon wrap is a snooze fest. And without the helmet, this skin would not be worth it. Just my opinion. Support creator PIC0, and we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.